Uh, the name of this app is called Cosmographia. And we're going to move forward in time. Here we go. I'm going to take you into so you can see Venus because Mercury, Earth, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, even Pluto, right now, every planet is over here on the right. The Lone Ranger is Venus over on the left hand side of the Sun. Now, watch what happens when we move forward in time to the summer. Fast forward it. I'm going to try to stop it right there. July 9th is when it begins. July 9th, Venus crosses this imaginary line that splits down the middle of the sun. Okay, you got Uranus at the top. Now you've got Venus and Mercury both on the right hand side of the sun. Let's back out. Jupiter's over here. Earth is over here. Mars is over here. Neptune's over here. Saturn's over here. Even Pluto's over here. And many of the dwarf planets are all sharing the same side of the sun. All planets are over here. Nothing to the left. And we understand the importance of balance, correct? Balance is good. Balance is good with anything in life. Doesn't matter what it is. And it starts in the heavens, in the cosmos. So when the planets have 360 degrees to share, and they're all now sharing 180 degrees, and what have we learned about planets? Planets all have a unique frequency. We learned that from a man by the name of Nikola Tesla. And those frequencies, believe it or not, these planets do feel each other with regard to frequencies. Earth has a unique frequency opposed to Venus, opposed to Mercury, Uranus, Neptune, they all do. So they do feel each other. It's called the harmonics of the spheres. And that's something that uh, Nikola Tesla studied. But as you can see in this video, watch. Let me slow it down just a little. This arrangement's going to stay like this through the summer. You're looking at August 21st, and every planet is still on the far right-hand side of the sun, if you were looking down on the solar system from above. Okay? And it doesn't change until Mercury right there breaks that imaginary line in the third week of August. So from the first week of July to the third week of August, every planet in the solar system will be on the right-hand side of the sun sharing 180 degrees instead of 360, creating an imbalance.